uh, Omoada today. I think uh, uh, in uh, after just a, a few exposition on uh, a four on the criminal age of four, um, we are going to bring the Omoada today because they are coming. And I'm very sorry that my my voice is somehow sounding somehow because of uh, because of cold. And so, but we're going to continue. So you are listening live and direct on Voice of Biafra 97.5 FM, Enter Biafra 1 and 2. And because a lot of, uh, we have some system uh, issue and a lot of people are not receiving a notification and hopefully it will be fixed very soon. So if you are here today, you are lucky to be here to watch this live. Today, we are going to go a little bit deeper in exposing what Ejo 4 has been doing to, to destroy Biafra's struggle and to destroy Mazenam de Kano and to destroy the effort that Mazenam de Kano has made for years. And of course, why I am doing this is because it is very, very imperative so that we would destroy every power and every influence that the Nigeria state has on this uh, particular struggle through, by, through the criminal age of war. So it is good that the Nigeria, Fulani, and the governors of the Southeast and all the people that are involved will understand that we have busted the Jofo and uh, their, their eyes in the Biafra struggle is no longer, they, are, they can no longer see. I want to inform Biafra today. Thank you, Anthony Great, for your super chat. I love you too. I want to inform Biafra today that we are going to make public the list of the ESN members that were killed in Barista Ejiofor's house. It is not only Gento that was killed in Barista Ejiofor's house. We are going to we are going to make list of the people, the Eastern Security Network members that were killed in Barristage of First House. And I'm gonna make one name public today. In addition to Commander Gentle, another ESM member that was killed in Barristage of First House is called Matthew. Matthew is from Abia State, Biafra Province. Abia, State of Biafra Province. He was killed and murdered in Barista Ejofor's house. The reason why it has become very imperative, thank you very much for reminding me. My candle is on, my candle is on. The candle is always on, as you can see. So, but of course, because uh, you can see it. The reason why it has become imperative is that we are documenting for future use. We document this particular IPOB autopilot. We are taking data. And the data, we are working on the data. Barista Ejiofor's house has been a house of slaughter where ESN members are being butchered and killed without nobody asking question. So I do not know whether Barista Ejiofor has actually done anything to the family of this of these uh, ESN members that were killed in his house. So Matthew, Matthew is one of them who was killed. Matthew is from Abia State. He was killed in Barristage of First House. Are you aware of that? No, you don't know. You don't know. You know, all these people that are, that are making noise on social media, they don't know what we know. You know, these are people who just out of hatred, and uh, some of them are being hypnotized. Of course, I don't even believe in it hypnotized because but it's the your first uh, uh, charm, uh, you know, has been destroyed by Biafra spirit. So the charm is not working. But, um, but uh, you know, some of them are just out of envy or ignorant or that they have gone too deep into ignorance and it is difficult for them to come out of it. So, but I believe as time goes on, 
they will be forced by the Spirit to, you know, their eyes will be open. So, you know, the reason why I'm doing this is that also is that I will be coming gradually, gradually, step by step. And let me tell you today, whatever I am exposing about by stage of four is something that must be done now. And it is not distracting what we are doing. I'm doing this exposition on Bryce Dejo 4. We are focusing on Nigeria. It is not disturbing me at all. And it is not disturbing whatever we are doing for Biafra restoration as we are on countdown 102 days to go. It is not disturbing me at all. So anybody that thinks that Bryce Dejo 4 issue is the distraction, no. But it is something that must be done for the spirit of Biafra to work in full force. So after this exposition of video 4, uh, we, you know, things will begin to happen. So, I have registered one topic today and one issue, which is another ESM member that was killed in the Geoforce house is called Matthew. And I'm going to get every details of Matthew and we're going to make it public. And uh, Matthew was killed and I said that Matthew is from Abia State. Somebody said I should stop addressing him as a barrister. <laughs> All right, as a criminal. Okay. All right. So, so now I want you people to understand the background because it is going to go down in what we have been doing before. So, the criminal age of four, first of all, lied to Biafras that the person that was killed in his house, he claimed to be his PA is not an ESM member. So the question you should be asking yourself is that, why did a Geo4 lie to Biafran and to everybody that Gentle is his PA? Why? But I want you to understand that every ESM member that is watching me today understand that if you have anything to do with a Geo4, your life is in danger. Because the way he is denying publicly, gentle, being ESM member and becoming a PA, is the way he's going to deny you. So, the question is, why would a Jofa lie that gentle is his PA? I want you people to understand, that was a very fat lie. Gentle was not a Jofa's PA. Gentle was ESM commander. I want you people to understand that the thing that is going to expose a Geo 4 criminality and how he betrayed Mazen Namdekano is going to be the center point is going to be in this gentle. You know, I told you people. <laughs> so from this gentle, we are going to stretch the hand. So gentle is a point of contact. So from the gentle being burnt in the car, we are going to stretch and it will connect all the ESM members that were killed in the Geoforce House. We're going to bring the list. Now, having said that, let us go to today's lies and how a Geoforce have tried to destroy, to destroy the Biafra struggle. So we are going to go to the analysis without wasting any time. And I want you to listen and listen very, very attentively. Very attentively. Let us go there. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, because Umwada, uh, Umwadas are coming. So this particular exposition today will be somehow, but uh, I want you to pay attention. First of all, because of because of um, because of the exposition we have done so far, 
Because of exposition we have done so far, the Biafra people are rising up and uh, at least uh, they are now speaking in a language that the criminal will understand. So this is a voice of uh, somebody from uh, the criminal of Jofors uh, village. Um, oh, there is no sound. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to. Sorry about that. I wonder why is there is no no sound. How come there is no sound? One moment. I wonder why there is no no sound. because the voice is not coming out I need to one moment uh, somebody say that somebody say that I'm stressed well actually I'm just coming out from sauna you know I'm coming out from sauna and uh, sauna uh, I spent like two hours uh, in sauna, you know, going out and coming out, going in and coming out, so uh, so I can, <laughs> my face can look somehow and my voice, because of the cold, I want to hit myself because of the cold, so I'm just coming out of sauna, but I'm okay, I'm fine, and uh, because of the cold, uh, sometimes we get some running nose and all that, so our nose will be leaking. All right, so we're going, I need to find out why is the voice not coming out? Um, I need to refresh. All right. And then, uh, very, very interesting why this particular, and then, uh, why this is not. Lisa, uh, we need to audio. Okay. All right, so can you all hear me? The sound is okay. All right, but I'm not hearing the... Uh,
Well, I need to, I think I need to make this audio. I need to, one well, moment. I need to, I think I need to make this audio. I need to, one well, moment. I need to, I think I need to make this audio. I'm having, uh, <laughs> I'm having some challenges here, you know. So let us see how it goes. Um, one moment. Yeah, here we go. Um, all right so i believe now that you hear the voice okay is that who you are? If I need your father, I can be a good one. I can be a good If you can be a good one, I can be a good one. If I can be a good one, I can be a good one. I don't believe that a great betrayer like you will kiss it from all of if I need your phone, yeah, like I did the phone, na 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 na. Yeah, no, 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 paralo, I see where you're going. Yeah, like I did the phone, it's a paralo, I see where you're going. If I need your phone, I trust on you, my hero. I trust on you, my hero. If I need your phone. Oh, I am the governor. It is here. It's a special land of an airport. If you got an advice, you will be a maker. You have a joy. Go be in a quadrant. Go be in a joy. Go be in a joy. I think I did a while in Brown. Eh? Who met a project? What time will you land the canoe? Why did I buy and land the canoe? The better than some of Oh no, I listen to you now. Only that, only no one gets it. Only I will get up at all. I say no one in the high street. And then the car will not go wrong soon. And then the car will not be strong. And then the oh, we just have to force. We just have to force. We force. Is that what you think? Is that what you think? I am a Jewish Jew. I was a man who said that Jesus was a man. A man who was a man who was a man who was a man. Come on, I am a good friend. I am a good friend. I feel you. I am a good friend. 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 To the level that I am, I am a kid. I am with high quality men. I need the money that say I do like this or do like that. I will know the right thing to do. Trust me, it's for you. I'm not the kind of put on my coat. That's it. I want the African land to be calm. I want the African land to to be calm. If I have a good idea. Njua keje lualua. Njua keje lualua. Nande kano nkaema. Nande kano nkaema. Nande kano nkaema. I want the Jafran land to become. I want everywhere to become. I want... It's really all one before the balance with the cool fire. Njua mifi bali ya. No hodo no no hodo. Njua mifi bali ya. Nande kano nkaema. Njua mifi bali ya. I want the Afrikan land to be calm. But in the end, I don't know how they feel. All of them failed. You can't stop the Afrikan to come. They don't do what they say. They don't understand. 
Se mon ekwa buta kwa na jefa ga dia nesi e. E buta ona afu. Ona afu. Eh na nikano ya ya sai ya fa welcome welcome back nesi e. Ni ni basa. Ni fu ja su bona ero. Fanya jofo. Oh, oh wonder, oh wonder. I'm a mwesa mone ba ne asi onyo bula mada asu mada fana fanya jofo. Fani mada I'm a fani fanya jofo attack. Let nobody attack a jofo. As far as nanya mwesa mone ba is concerned. Nobody must attack a fine jofo. I'm on that time. I'm a mbosi. Someone ever did we miss a kind of misunderstanding between you and me? Your favorite Hana. Thank you. What for me? Um, it's him. That's why I'm not that. Someone ever appreciate? No, they never appreciate. Yeah, how will you ever misunderstand me when I'm in that program? All because of you. But I'm telling you, now I'm there. I'm not for what I think. I'm a man for the melody and return. The mafia, I don't know for the different thing. I don't know. I wonder what is happening. What is the problem? I'm a man. You are not doing what the world is now. You're not him. Only that I am then that I can have a message on my attack on social media. I am a tourist. You. I am a I am a Kibizio. None the camels lie as I am a small fumer. I am a Kibizio. We are different. No friends. No one can be a witch, the witch, the witch, the camel. You are. You are a Kibizio. You are a Kibizio. Ilo na go to major na yebu na yebu ine major na yebu na wanda. Boy, my son ne ne rujo my na mon ne jere na mteka. Boy, ije na go to major na yebu. I was surprised. Na si ni mo ni ni biad ne mo ni mteka. Ni ni biad ne mo ni mteka. I'm a long back in a in a dead gun when the egg guys were watch or what. Oh, yeah, we're not having them. You could be having that again. Oh, but I'm done. Okay, the gentleman able to be aged. Able to be aged. I am a right now. Yes, I'm back able to be easy. Brally, I love the eligible. What, what stops you from telling Jaffrance? No, no, I'm a poor ears and command the table. Then if he's the brally, I say, no, you're, no, you're P.A. If I hit Jaffa, he brally. He brally, he brally. He brally. Never can worry. I'm a, I'm a, a few, a few more missing. Eh, I'm a missing. Hmm. I don't mean I want the money in a joker. In a joker, it's just we're working in a joker. It's just we're working in a joker. If I am Jeff, I'm fully a missing book in a F. Oh, missing book in a F. Apa yang mereka tahu ini kita dia lo bising, dia boleh dia boleh eh lo bising bising. Ia dia boleh bising kan? Eh? Ici lo mula jalan yang aro, fikir dia boleh bising, dia mesti fakir fakir before. Apa sih nama? Mana yang baru? Eh? Apa yang lo bising kan? Apa boleh wajah madu tu? Siapa boleh wajah? Kita cakap ni wajah madu. 
I'm going to wish you good. I'm going to wish you good. I'm wish you good. Wish you good. Because we should run one on an Africa. Yalo Tajolo against Jafra. In Patafa. Idalo, we should run a coin. Idalo, what somebody to laugh at a whistle, a whistle will rise against you. If you up and get to know a whistle again, a whistle will rise against you. I can give you Ibuala. <laughs> 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 Um, tweet uh, Diva, thank you very much for your super chat. We appreciate you. Syria clear a job for uh, it can't be well with you and your uh, and your uh, the POS Evo cohort. The generation we know no peace. Amen. Thank you, Floris Hedge, Floris Hodge, for your super chat. We appreciate you. You see. Now, you, everybody have had the warning given to the criminal Ejofo not to come to Isimbu again or the Aroshi in, uh, in Orifite, where he comes to do to kill a cow for the Aroshi and all that. So they are warning him now never to step his foot again in the Aroshi of uh, Isimbu. So I, I believe uh, the message will get to him that they, they are warning him not to come to the Aroshi again. <laughs> because, of, you know, he told the people that he goes to church, he don't do juju, he don't worship idol, and they are warning him now that this will, that he should not come to the Isimbu again to kill cow, because he normally come there and kill a few kill cow, go. So he must not come to the Isimbu again to, to the Aroshi. That is number one. So I'm giving the information to him now. I told him that by the time we finish with him, he will not step his foot in Biafra land. I'm throwing him to come out. So, uh, that is by the way. Now we are going to this position because people are now getting the message. Biafra people are getting the message. And in the entire Biafra land now, it's being discussed because people can connect the dot. People can connect what is going on. And again, we are coming with another, because I'm not going to make his position the same time because your brain will scatter. So I'm going to be making the exposition small, small. One day, I will put small thing. Tomorrow, I will add another thing. When you understand that one, next tomorrow, I will add another thing. Until the picture will be like a cinema to you. So here we go. Today, I have told you again today that another person that was killed in uh, your first house is called Matthew. Matthew is ESN and is from Abia State. So you see, the question is that why would he lie to you that the person that was killed in his house, that gentle is his PA? Gentle is not his PA. Gentle is ESN commander. And I believe we have made that particular uh, this thing very, very clear. So uh, one moment. Right, so we're going to continue. And uh, now we go straight to... We go straight to the exposition of today. So we are going to be connecting the dot here. Here we go. <coughs> Sorry. 
sorry. All right. It, it is, is insecurity. insecurity. Here we go. We are going to go into these two videos. And uh, in these two video, one moment, because uh, what we are doing here is a very, very high level analysis. It is not analysis of Ndia Chukwu Bono. The analysis we are doing here is not analysis of their their Itibori boss analysis. So we are going to go to this uh, to this uh, analysis, and um, and so we go we go from let us go to thirty five. Let us go to 35, uh, sorry, 45, 45 minutes, okay? 45 minutes. Here we go. Uh, continue on every possible. We go much like a good time, or then, uh, no, for the... First of all, I think uh, I need to. This is not where I want to start. Let me go to. Uh, first of all, I will go to how uh, he refused to defend himself. Uh, this criminal age of four did not defend himself. So let us go to where he was asked to defend himself and he refused. He didn't defend himself. <laughs> Um, in my hand, you not judge you, John. You to go up with no one My hand, you not judge you, John. Um, a lot of things. Um, it may be chichana. Oh, we keep working for twenty years. We have seen how many, how many. Yeah, the guy is fine. I got an apple corn soga. I see na onye kero wa kero wa. I see na ko wa geside ko wa. Um, the other poro wa. I need maybe so wa. Have you people noticed that they put a video like Buhari and uh, the man is doing something else and the voice is talking? I don't want to even talk about that because it is it doesn't make any sense. But I just want you, I just want to call your attention to the video. That the video is demonstrating something else and the voice is talking. So I don't know whether they have copied Asurok. Because he knows since we start exposing him, he don't want to appear on video again. He don't want to come to do on the video that, oh, is my face coming out? No, he ran away. He disappeared. This criminal that is always flamboyantly showing himself on TV, he no longer want to show himself on TV. They now begin to do radio broadcast. So I don't know what they are doing that the body, the camera, the video is moving differently. The voice is talking differently. Have you ever seen anything like that? The man no longer want to appear appear on the live video. I don't know. Cup of tea and the wristwatch. <laughs> because of cup of tea and the wristwatch, he sold Mazin up the candle for cup of tea and the wristwatch. So ask yourself, why is he not coming online again? He's not coming live again. You know before. When they want to interview him, they will say, we are in Erudat, lawyer, in your form, and blah, 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 and he will be gallivanting himself. This time around, he disappeared completely. So let us, but that is not why we are here. So let us continue. <laughs> To destiny, and we are young, there are poor man. No one didn't put her on. You are go ahead, the car, and we can see her saying, or this is a kind of say, it is not like you know, we're all the only one they put her on. Every Biafrance did not agree, so do not put it as if no one they put her on when they put her on. 
all original and the real Biafran agitators never agree with a Jofo. That is the fact. Many of them can be And we are going to bring more evidence and complete list of ESM members that was killed in the Jofa's house as he was preparing ground for the lap of Mazen and Bikan. So, Ebu Boka na Kanko, no, Ozabe nke Ebu Ebu, but I want the Afras to list it. E gore na ju, no, Ebu Boni na ha, ha bo. Then, ge weze Mike, mozi na yuku zi, me every other thing, yuku chanzi ye ya, anye me pezi ye, yuku zi, nde mada na ju, zaju ju nke, ande wo barista. Um, watch naked. I eventually, I want everybody to listen. The question is that a Jehovah must defend himself on all the allegations Simon Ekpa have leveled against him. This Simon Ekpa that they say he is nobody. We have leveled allegation to a Jehovah, and this a Jehovah criminal is about to respond to the allegation of Simon Ekpa. But I want you people to understand that he didn't respond to any allegation. So listen. Ebuna, makie basalo ni ne ku, mabundi ne ku. Oh, iye na dengen chalom, tini yem chali. Ebu mbo gembe ku, kama me nebe anya because when something is in the metwak, nku ku. Ima na ande ba isalo ni amare demi na no, demi na bujama wa. Hara me bono ku si. Hey, um, ne me ku ni ruto, kwachali yede. Um, this is 32 minutes 32 minutes into the program this guy continued to ask Ejofo to respond to the allegation Ejofo did not respond for 32 minutes 45 seconds where a stop now is 32 minutes 45 seconds Ejofo did not defend himself <laughs> Uh, Defend yourself. Ikuboku. Go nya hamano. Go nya hedi anishi. Go nya oga wandiro. Oga wandishi. Oga wandinguro. Defend yourself. For everything I have said. So far. Kambito is who knows who he is. You see, Kambito is who knows who he is. And your father cannot defend himself. Is it who knows who he is? Apart from the basalo, the the belief, because for four hours, this particular nonsense lasted four hours. And your father did not defend himself. Four good hours. Hello, my my mother is not Zopo. Zopo, Umali, Umba na Umali. Umalisi <laughs> 
Listening to this man, the question was defend yourself. And he said, after all this blabbing, he is going to defend himself. He did not defend himself. is there anybody killing any Biafra? I don't know where this man is coming from. But the question is here. The question here is defend yourself. A lot of allegation has been leveled against you. Defend yourself. Is gentle ESN commander yes or no? Is gentle ESN commander yes or no? Why did you lie to Biafra's that he a gentle is your PA. Let us start from there. What is the meeting you are having? Highly security, a highly sensitive security meeting you were having with the Southeast governors. What is the content of this meeting and why? What is your involvement in kidnapping Mazenam the Khan? So, where is your defense? How do you respond to that? Maybe <laughs> Not 
we had to fund the money? I know everything. You want to know the man? Two thousand from the Kaloye. We don't keep it. Man, I told you now. I'm a channel to record now. I'm going to do something. He said he started working for Nyendo in 2015. So he did not spend time with uh, Mazinam de Kam to know who Mazinam de Kam really is. Right. So he didn't actually know who Mazinam de Kam is. And he said he is the most trusted person to Mazinam de Kam. But he don't know who Mazinam de Kano is. He said it again. Okay. So now, when Onyendu now was the addition to Nigeria, in DSS dungeon, that is where he get to know Onyendu very well. So you can imagine in a condition where Onyendu is in DSS dungeon. That is where a Jofo is telling you now that the condition of Onyendu in DSS dungeon is where he come to know who Onyendu is really is. So Onyendu's best is in DSS dungeon, not while he is outside. Ejofo did not know Onyendu while Onyendu is outside, so he know Onyendu while Onyendu is in DSS dungeon. You see the stupidity of you people that are following what this man is saying. This man is telling you now that he don't know who Mazinam the Kanu is outside DSS dungeon. That it is where Mazinam the Kanu was the addition to Nigeria. He now come to know him very well. Hey, Aro. So even if Mazinam did cannot tell him A, he will say it is A. And why Mazinam did cannot A is B, and your father will say A is A. So which means he doesn't know Mazinam did cannot. So Mazinam did cannot will be giving him sign language. He don't understand it. Mazinam did cannot will give him a code. He don't understand it. I hope you people are following what I'm saying. Because he don't know who Mazinam the Kano is until they rendition him back to Nigeria and then in DSS dungeon where they cannot speak openly, where Mazinam the Kano cannot express himself. That is where a Jofo is telling you now that he has come to know Mazinam the Kano. Hey! Chineke Maramebari. And this idiot, criminal, is saying it in the public that he don't know Mazinam the Kano, until Mazinam the Kano was reditioned to Nigeria in DSS dungeon. He come, that is where he come to know Mazinam the Kano. I want you people to know that this particular interview has finished this criminal. I told them, any day he come out to make interview, he will be going down until he will be no more in this, in this Biafra struggle. So even if, even if you are a Dundee, even if you you are a fool, even if you hate me, even if you hate me, do you think that it is it is okay that the Jofo is telling you now, instead of defending himself, he is telling you that he don't really know who Mazen Namdekanu is. And the person who don't know Mazen Namdekanu is giving you a message of Mazen Namdekanu. Why you only already know who Mazen Namdekanu is and what he stands for? Instead of you to protect what Mazinam the Kano stand for, this man is telling you, calm down. Onyendu say you should calm down. I'm not, nobody is supporting criminality. After all, the criminality is not being uh, perpetrated by Biafra people. Who is talking about criminality? We are talking about our people are being killed. We are talking about that we are fighting for our freedom. And this man is telling you, everybody should calm down. Everybody should make, don't make no noise. Election must hold. Election must do this. And we know the principles that we have followed for past years for the freedom of Biafra. And the thing is that, and when, you know, somebody say I have nothing to expose. You don't know. You know how I do my own. You people will push me. You cannot push me. When I want, I will release what I have. I am only dealing with information that is in public. I am only dealing with what you see in the public. You see, my own is that I will use the thing that you say to judge you. I will use the evidence you provide to me to judge you. I will use the evidence your family, your wife, your children provide to me to judge you. That is me. Evidence. So this is not why I'm doing this is that 
I'm laying back ground now with their own word so that by the time I'll begin to bring secret thing out, you will not know, you, you, you will not be so shocked or surprised. Because now the picture is getting clearer. So if your father don't know my name, they can. Because if he know Mazen Namdekano, he will know where Mazen Namdekano speak to him on, in code, in code language. <laughs> if he know Mazen Namdekano, he will know where Mazen Namdekano pass a different message. He will know when Mazen Namdekano A is B. He will know when Mazen Namdekano B is A, but because he don't know him. But let me tell you, it is not about because he don't know him. It is because he was part of the kidnapping of Mazen Namdekano. So everything he does is to go in against the Biafra struggle. ไม่ปรุงกินไม่ปรุงกินเอาหน้าก็ไม่จบพูดเจ๊ปันตานะก็อาจารย์ก็ได้นะอาจารย์ก็ได้นะโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ
That is no sound. That is no sound. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I wonder why there is no sound in this. Okay. Let me use this. Um, he has his own mind. You understand me? Even if you give him a security tip, sometimes he decides to do otherwise. Do you understand me? He decides yeah. to do otherwise. Is the sound coming out? Mazi, one week our leader was extradited to Nigeria. And the most state government normally have meeting every two weeks. In the most state government house. That is the council house. Do you know the moment Mazen Nandekan was extradited into Nigeria, there was a celebration in Imo State government where they pumped their champions and discuss how the job was done and mentioned some of those who participated, some businessmen from Anambra also participated and some governors. Yes, some wicked participated. He bring a huge amount of money. Are you hearing it? For the, for the extraordinary rendition. But a Jofo told you that Onyendu said that he must not mention any name outside there. Now a Jofo have mentioned the names, you know. A Jofo have mentioned the names. One moment. Your father has mentioned the names and now they are calling the names. So listen. Therefore, now he was there. Okay. After he was there. All right. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, what do they call you? Um, or is it a mecca for? A mecca for. A uh -huh. mecca for was there. Okay. These are part of the people who make sure that Mazen Nam the Kano was adopted. And extradited. All right. But one thing is this: they thought IPOD. You know, they have their. You see, fish. while a Jofo is here, telling you under vow that only do. That. Okay, now. Um, me manala mala iki ye ba se do apa. Kita abuna. Ehe fo anamano al konde manna ko. Manala the first question on Jofo yen pushing the fear. I didn't make a yaya. I can't get up first day. I do know you see, Kelki Fisik. A talum, all about Jim Stanley. Don't you have an Oga Kana? Don't you have a better bass than one? Say, don't go out and mention any name. Don't go out and mention any name. But this Mohammed Abbas is here uh, calling names. Okay. These are part of the people who make sure that Mazen Nam the Kano was adopted and extradited. And that is the information, and that is the information from a Geofor who is now, you know, who Mazen Nam the Kano, the most trusted person. Mazen Nam the Kano told him, do not mention any name out there. He went and gave the name to these people and they go and start mentioning it. Some of you will remember when they publish uh, when they publish uh, the names of the people and then they come back again and they begin to apologize. You know, they even put the name of uh, what is the name again? Um, um or are you, are you find your bar also. They came uh, they, they later came out again and uh, you know do a rejoinder that uh, they withdraw the statement. All of you, you see, you do not want to know what they are doing to Mazen Amdekan. But let us list it. I swear with my life. He swear with his life. The Mazinam the Khan told him not to mention any name outside. Now ask him, how did the bed bug Nworu, the Muhammad Abbas, got to know the list of the people he was mentioning on in that interview? Don't go out and mention any name. Right. Don't go out and do what? Mention any name. Right. 
Okay, but did the Jehovah know that the people he told the names, which Onyendu instructed him not to say, they are already broadcasting it in different platforms? No, my come on, 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 and <laughs> So, we are going to talk about this. If you follow, this is my truck. Now, I don't know if you want to go to the map. No, no, no. That's how I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Those are the only ones that I'm going to go. I know you can see that. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Those are the only ones that I'm going to go. Yet, the Jofo is sending messages to me. Those are the only ones that I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I thought that they never allowed you to enter to see Onion with pen. So is it like after he told you the message, you came out and write it? Of course, there could be some errors. So I can see this. We are not going to be from him. No, no, no. So only one body can only suction can only drain. And the wooden one is the wooden one is the wooden one. Do you hear that? Ejofor said that now, only one is the wooden one. Only one is the wooden one. Yet Ejofor later on said, only one do the wooden one. Yes, the wooden one is the wooden one. Yes, the wooden one is the wooden one. And that is that. And here. He said, "Omo ronyo ne ezo ozi si ziye." Listen to it, oh. Those little ones, we don't want to know this. I can't understand how much I'm going to lose in trying to untap. Those here, I'm going to tap off it. Oh, oh, oh! You're going to miss. No, no, no. You're going to be an awkward mistake. This is just a mistake. This is a case. 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 How I listen to how we from him. Ah, So only one body And the Yet, said, Let me even pull it up. said, is yours? Yes, yeah. Yet, as your first say, get the money. I can't find your own. Is yours? Yes, yeah. But here, Ejofo, in the same interview, Ejofo is telling you, no more news on his Ozi. Oh, I'm going to brainwave. Now we are going to move forward. What I'm trying to establish here is to see a, you know, a chronic liar, a criminal, that his word will never be stretched. So let us go to, let us go to 28. 
And they believe from Nebona, Unumolo, Kerehana, we are guiding principles which will see a different dozen. I don't, I promise, I don't know, 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 I don't He said he is not going to say everything in this platform now. I don't everything, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and it is not. Um, uh, he is not in the position if there could be something about IPOP yet he was the one who said over his dead body will Simon Ekpa pilot the affair of Biafra when Mazinam Dikano asked, he asked him to tell me to do so he denied he said he don't get involved yet he was the one who vowed over his dead body I want you people to pay attention <laughs> Ndina only lot Shinakam how to manage it. I'm among a lawyer. So major quiz in a camera. I'm losing them, but I'm living as much as in the books. What is your enemy here now? He never answered any question. Each in it is now. He in the West Nam, the content was in this year. I come out like it was only when I'm at the power to Kinema, whom I yokum the movie, the camp who can use the two zillion busy. Then I won't be a fast so a cooper mokum. So in the old yard. Those young, my 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 the no I will keep a little point in the room for the Sinano. He had a guy fine, I got an apple one so I say, I seen a and the other and maybe so. I watch you, I don't know, 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 now, when you ask Charozia, everybody turn against the oh, oh, fair, oh, 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 so I was I don't count your basaraguma. Mandebo, Japan Hapus, April Maketa, only April Kugas, Sin and Kemaka, and Kemapanaguma. Ah, no chana, I go chagu if any now. Anga toka, a gorong again, no Ebuni now, Haburu. Then give with your mic, Mosin, now you pushes the mebro that thing. You could just say, and your mepesia. Uh, you would think. That's That's Okay. Um, they make a new little. What are the other? 
And let me tell you people, the one that shocked me is that when he is looking for something to, because somebody is sending a message to him probably, Ejo Four was in this interview and was telling the interviewer that the light went off. Oh, there is no power. So what does no power got to do with your voice? We are still hearing your voice. So what is the, the no power, no power? We hear your voice. <laughs> so I do not understand. When he want to check something from the phone, or see it will go up and the light is gone. Ah, let me play, let me play it now so you, you people will hear. So because everything is pop and play. Or see light. You know, 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 King kill him in America, King kill him in the US, King kill him in the UK, King kill him in Russia, King kill him in Canada, come in South Africa. They are not going to be happy. 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 They are not going to be this is kind of thing I talk I know. They may protest. You have the right. It's a constitutional right. The man didn't want to put on a sister up here. He had a matter of time signing for the little. He went to the corner up here. He told you I joined the night. I I joined the night. 
did you hear the sound of the message did you hear the sound of the message poo poo did you hear what what is your phone would do now because you're going to be two minutes, can that tell you about lies? Two minutes to read the test message that came so that he will know how to address them. Two minutes to read test message. Did you hear the test message? The, the, the uh, sound of the test message? Poo, poo. Let us take it back again. Osegi, two minutes, can that tell you Why you are still hearing his voice? He can no go near. He said, Give me two minutes. Oh, yeah, well, I'll go in Anonia. Oh, you're okay, you're like, oh, you're okay, you're like, you're a Ganonia. Oh, you're okay, you're like, if they take light and your voice and sound and everything depend on the light, are we still going to hear your voice? The answer is no. But at the same time, you heard the message came. And the tone of the message do poo poo. Osiki, give me two minutes. Let me check the light. <laughs> Ogutaya, let us go back now. I got one moment. I I just man. Get back to one of those. You never know. We should have gone. 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 We Right, so uh, here we go.
Now, I want you people to listen. Did you hear the this thing? Poo, poo. I listen. I just want to do it. 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 Did you hear it? Poo, poo. That is message. I think it because you got him two minutes. Can I tell you more? It's a lie. They have sent message to him. What to say? What to say? Jeffo is onyori. Complete onyori. So we take it back. Oh, money here today. Onyendu told me last time that he liked the way I move. Onyendu. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go near. Hello, man. I wonder again to to know over in the day, man. Obo Nazuka Barista, if I need your force in Kunya, and you my friend, and I know what I ever Network at the Roma and Kanka, Omoya, so if any man be going to turn over in the Ah, uh, ka ya wana mwaya hasipo mwaya Oya na chitekwe Ewe roke bono Ewe roke bono Ka ya wana mwaya uh, Hazio mwaya Oya na chitekwe continue uh, Ane bo kwa sire I like the word of kwa hazio mwaya Kwa hazio mwaya Just say kwa hazio mwaya I will understand it Kwa hane wa roko Because the light Ewe wa roko Ino ino ronu ya Yes ino roko na asigi ne wa roko Onye wa roko Owa na roko ni me afet ni hone me Oka kwa oge yiga nwonu ya Kwa hazio mwaya Because <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a job for to focus on his job of legal work because he take a good contract, he collected the contract to kidnap Mazin and Bikano. He masterminded it, he made sure that they kidnap him from Kenya, and now he is completing the job, which is to make sure when Ojofo is telling you criminal. Is not talking about because uh, are you the one kidnapping people? Are you flanny? When a Jofa is talking like this, he's not talking about criminal per se, he's talking about Biafra agitators, he's talking about Eastern Security Network. 
Not to us in the No, so they hear me so we never know. If someone ever now, I never know what I'm the man that would have put it. But I would have a wonderful nose. Come on, damage is the Hana Cos. Then I didn't get married. Hana Cos. On the one around the PSO. And I get on the one around your PSO, which is me. You see, I want to talk to the Republic of Benicobo. You see, a Jew of Force said that you should ask me to come to Benin Republic here to, to do broadcast that I will not come. You see, who knows how they managed to make that Mazina they cannot to go to Kenya because he actually probably made a broadcast from Kenya. Who knows? So Jofo is challenging me now that you should tell me to come to Benin Republic to do broadcast so that they will come there to kidnap me. <laughs> that if you tell me to come to Benin Republic, he's trying to see if I can take up the challenge and go to the Republic to broadcast. He said, if you tell me to come to the Republic, I will not do it. Are you hearing? You see, this is exactly what they did to Mazen Namdekan. Come to Kenya, you go there. Go to Kenya, you go there. Bam! Amuchikoya. Or they, you know, he even went to, maybe he went to Kenya, Kenya on his own and then they informed them, he informed one, Jofo, or one of them that he was in Kenya. Bam, and what you call ya? Look at the Jofo telling me to come to the Republic and do broadcast. You people have seen the person that sold Mars in Namdi Kano. There are many. You know, some of them are telling me, oh, you accuse uh, Nelly. All of them are the same thing. When, when, that, when that one was shouting, this one was having a meeting with the governor. This one, is it not a, the same thing a Jofo did? A Jofo confessed having meetings or permitting. With the governors. So when he, she was actually shouting all those things, it was then that we're having those meetings. And then when some kind of disagreement comes in, you see them shouting. The other one, the other one of them was, uh, they, today they are playing videos where I was defending the Jofo. Did I not defend Nelly too? I even said that Nelly is me, I'm Nelly. So which one is even more, more uh, weight, more weight? <laughs> you know, they are flying the video. Look at him defending the Jofo. I defend you until I finish investigation and find out what you did to Onyendo. From your own confession and from in other secret evidences available to us. So it does not matter whether I praise you to heaven or not. It doesn't matter. Once the jungle mature, I will strike. And once I strike, you can never rise again. You can never rise. While a Jofo is talking like this, you will hear so, take a demand down to Mana Hana was a last one. Had a Neriaka cannot help him. Had a Neriaka. So, here in Akosuketia, Kafuna, which are pretty. Not the Canada on the Monday, Thursday, Gafia, and now where I only do. Nah, they say, if they change the point. While a Jofo is talking like this, a Jofo is not talking about criminal because he knows the Biafra people are not the criminals. But why is Jofo is saying these things? Listening to Ozekome. Social and political insecurity that have led to self determination moves. I don't like the word separatist. Okay. Inam the Kanu is not a separatist, it's a self determination movement person. And self determination is recognized by all international instruments, including the United Nations Charter, the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, the Economic and Political Charter. It's recognized all over the world. So it's not... It, it, I pop that he has formed about 2012, did not start as a violent organization. They were marching on the streets of furniture, Oka, Aba, Oweri, Umwaya, and other places, saying we want self-determination, give us Biafra. They were peaceful. They were blowing whistle, wearing berets. Until 14th of September, 2017, 
when the Nigerian army threw Operation Python Dance invaded the ancestral home of Eze Kanu, the father of Unnamdi Kanu, at Afarauku, Ibeku, Umuahia, in Nabia State. 28 defenseless and unarmed Nigerians were killed in that bloody invasion. And Unnamdi Kanu managed to escape with the whiskers and by providence. Landing in Rome and later Israel, where he swore to Afidavis as regards why he had to run for his dear life. Listen to a lawyer. What? So let me tell Mr. President, sir, let me use this opportunity to beg you, Mr. President, sir, on my bended knees, most genuflectingly, even as our case is right now before the Supreme Court without prejudice to the outcome, release Nam the Kanu immediately. Okay. Are you hearing that? It will help to bring peace and tranquility to the Southeast. Release Mazen Nam the Kanu immediately. It will help to bring peace and tranquility to the Southeast. But what is Ejofo doing? Ejofo is telling you that Mazin Nam Kanu told him that you must restore peace in the Southeast. While the other one, who is also working with Ejofo, telling the world and Nigeria that you must release Mazin Nam Kanu in order to restore peace. Ejofo is preaching that Mazin Nam Kanu told you and asked him, Ejofo, to restore peace. Do you see conflict of interest? Do you see conflict? Do you see different people? Two different people. Ejofo is pressing, telling you, restless, that Mazin and Bikanu say, restore peace. Because when he's talking about this criminal, this criminal that is a lie. All he's talking about is restoring peace. Ejofo say, Mazin and Bikanu sent me to tell you to restore peace. Why this man, Jose Kome, is telling the Nigerian government to release Mazin and Bikanu in order to restore peace? Do you see the reason why your father want Mazin and Bikanu to come out for election? Two different ideology, two different people defending one person, two different ideas, two different things. And so your father will be working against Ozokome. Ozokome's ideology will also be working against the Ejofo, which is the Nigeria agent. So Ejofo continue to mingle himself in the legal team is a disaster. And that is why we are calling on him that he, from going forward, he shouldn't be allowed to visit Onyen to feed him with all these lies again. Do you see, how do you reconcile that? If your fault is campaigning that Onyen do say, restore peace, restore peace, so that he will stay in DSS dungeon forever. While Ezokome is saying, release Onyen so that he will restore peace. How can you do that? How can you how how do you allow such a man to continue to talk on the case of Mazin Namdi? It is because he was he was involved in the kidnapping of Mazin Namdi. And I'm gonna take it back again. Invasion. And then Namdi Kanu managed to escape with the whiskers and by providence. Landing in Rome and later Israel, where he swore to Afidavis as regards why he had to run for his dear life. So let me tell Mr. President, sir, let me use this opportunity to beg you, Mr. President, sir, on my bended knees, most genuflectingly, even as our case is right now before the Supreme Court, without prejudice to the outcome, Release Nam the Kanu immediately. It will help to bring peace and tranquility to the Southeast. It is not the other way around. Are you hearing it? The releasing Mazin Nam the Kanu will help to bring peace 
and tranquility to the southeast and not the other way around, not a Jofo way around. Now, listen to a Jofo. Okay. This week, when is the like a cat of some daddy? When is the only one marathon with him with no fun? I was kidnapped and nobody was kidnapped and nobody. This is the way he defended. Even when I'm a poor man, poor man, I have funded and I bought a shirt. I have stopped up man. I told you we are going to deal with you. Now we are not even married. This is the way he defended. But I'm actually poor. He was kidnapped. With no fun, my wife was kidnapped at all. Now when is that? Can I go? Ana son to code ndi ya ma son to suppose ma o tu kunde kwara ka ni na em na ta kwara na ka nda jo mu aka ni ma ye ba salori ye ba salom chiche ye ba salo ime to sara no she not ko ndi ana mi for da na atu aka tu na bai no to us ma zina and ka no nya wasend ha e kwara nya o the defense of this man he sold Mazin Namdekano, and everything he's doing is to make sure Mazin Namdekano never come out. No, so the hearing is so we're born. This time we're born. Now 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 we're born. The defense of Mazinam the Cardinal is to attack Simon Ekpa, whatever Simon Ekpa is doing for Biafra. That is how Ejofo is defending Mazinam the Cardinal. Is to attack the activity of Simon Ekpa, restoration of Biafra. Nothing else. Go and attack Simon Ekpa. That is how Ejofo is defending Mazinam the Cardinal. While the Ezokome is telling the federal government, he release Mazinam the Cardinal so that there will be peace and tranquility. Ejofo is telling you, uh, Igbos are criminals. Uh, Biafras are very mad. Yeah, this one, that is how he is defending Mazin Amdikan. I remember. So, can I get the land down? I was a lesson. How did I get the not helping him. You see, that we are not helping Mazin Amdikan. While uh, uh, Ozekome is telling the federal government, Release Mazin Nam Dekano for peace. Ejofo is telling, indirectly insulting Ozekome. Uh, who, who is doing the right thing? Ejofo is trying to quench the, the defense of Ezekome. Ejofo is trying to make Ezekome not have anything to use to defend Mazin Nam Dekano. Because if, for example, that we stop agitation now, if uh, let's let just assume now that, okay, we say, okay, nobody is agitating for Biafra again. Let us stop. According to this criminal Ejofo, what is Ezekome be saying when he stand there? Is he going to be saying, okay, now agitation have stopped and nobody is talking about Biafra again. So release Mazin Amdikan. Is that that is what they are trying to tell you? So there will be no pressure. <laughs> so that Mazin Amdikan will spend 15 years in the SS dungeon. Ejofo will, will be using the money he has made, like Olalen Onyema, to open a Ejofo air, airline. Abuja to Kaduna, Abuja to Lagos uh, Shuttle, airline, because that's what they do. And he will be bragging how he was the one who negotiated Biafra, who negotiated the Biafra agitation and he strike deal between Mazin and Kano, or between because if they have succeeded in doing something bad to Mazin and Kano, he will be claiming he was the one who ended Biafra agitation. And then he become a billionaire. Nigeria government will be paying him if, you see, you know how they make their money now. All this like a uh, Charles Mwoko them, um, uh, you know, uh, Aleno Nyema them. All these people made their money by negotiating militant. Negotiating militant. Some of them by recovering money from, uh, you know, uh, when Nigeria go into bad, uh, bad agreement, bad contract, they recover the money back. They made money from there. That is what Ejofo is planning to do. To use all of you, your blood, to make money by stopping Biafra agitation, kidnapping Mazin Amdikano, and making sure that he was instead of to defend Mazinam the Kano, he is here preaching the peace that Nigeria did not give us. I do not know whether it was us or it is us that is bringing uh, chaos. <laughs> he is preaching peace that Nigeria didn't give him. Because that is the contract agreement he took. That don't worry. Once Onyendu is kidnapped, everything is gone. 
But here we ah autopilot appear ha mbada nwura nwuni shi mbada nwura nwuni shi pare nyeri aka so ihe na kosu ke ti aka funa na e kwachapuri ya mata me ti na be kan na be mo tozdey ga fia ana agwa ya onye ndu na me fe 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 change kwana fe change go and you took one here to I told you what come and I made a hack at that. Buna Oye, I keep open and we keep promoting high name, no name behind the market. Now, she make us a mechanic, my house, my can do nine, my camera man, no cocoa. Only open a food to be cheap. Only open a full a person you want to go. Eh? I'm going to see what I'm going to do now. Now, my father, if you want to tell you people now. That we must, uh, we uh, Ozeko may say, release Mazin and the so that peace will come. Ojofo is now telling you that. I'm not trying to go to the open. I guess, Auntie, how he attacked Ozeko may say, a defense. Can Ozeko may open? Never point and do Mazin and Kano. Yeah, I'll be here with two dollars. I'll be here. Now, I'll be here. Now, I'll be here. Now, I'll be Now, I'll be here. Now, 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 I try to test the joint to fire people here in a job for that. Nayana Tori has also come here. No one went to cause a comment to a synagogue, which is the matter. Are you people hearing it now? Listen, let me take it back a little bit. Follow the person you follow, eh? Because what I'm going to do now. No matter the second, no one went to the Mazanan canoe. Are you hearing? <laughs> he is not attacking as a comment. In that way. And the fire protest everywhere. I don't want to say that. But I am going to say that. I am going to Talk. Can he be open and straight? Who knows? Is it? Operation, 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 Alwa anatora anato mando jo mandi lo batase bai ma konye zire ndu obota batase bai ne wusi ndu aka ha bota ma nda mari ya nda mari ya ra koma ke onya funu za puru aka de mwa nje asara aka no ze nwuri asa kwa ya ha bi bi kure ko a defense lawyer a defense lawyer a defense lawyer is now indicted by france a jofo is directly indicted by france that all the ntoni na anato all the kidnapping in Biafra land, including every killing that you see, everything they do for, is not talking about Fulani. Have you people seen it? And this is a man that has been pretending the biggest evil and devil advocate. Defending Mazin Namdekan. And Mazin Namdekan don't know that this man is the worst enemy. This age of four has been the eye of the Fulanese in IPOP. I want you to see the difference. The difference. Umwa here in Nabia State. 28 defenseless and unarmed Nigerians were killed in that bloody invasion. And in Nam, the Kanu managed to escape with the whiskers and by providence, landing in Rome and later Israel, where he swore to Afidavis as regards why he had to run for his dear life. So let me tell Mr. President, sir, let me use this opportunity to beg you, Mr. President, sir, on my bended knees, most genuflectingly. Even as our case is right now before the Supreme Court, without prejudice to the outcome, release Namdi Kanu immediately.
it will help to bring peace and tranquility to the southeast. It is not the other way around. Are you hearing it? We are not saying you should subvert the judicial process by doing this. You can instruct your attorney general who has the powers under section 174 of the constitution to enter a nolle prosecute, a okay. total discontinuance okay. of the whole case. What will bring peace to the south is towards 2023. Okay. It's not the continued detention of Nam the Kano. Are you people hearing it? What is going to bring peace towards 2023 is not the continued detention of Mazin Nam the Kano, but releasing of him, setting him free. But the Jofo is not after that. The Jofo is serving the interest, the narrative of Maz, of uh, of uh, the, uh, the the Fulanese and the Southeast governors. The narrative of Southeast governors, the narrative of Nigeria, the narr is what a Jofo is serving. Continue to blackmail Ndibo that they are the one committing the crime in the Southeast. Why this man is here saying something different? Who has become a metaphor for the Igbo struggle. It okay. is rather his immediate release to his people and they will All be right. happy. Okay. Did you people hear that? Now, we are going to go to another video of a Jofo. Hey, somebody, somebody say, what kind of human being am I who created me? <laughs> that's a funny, that's a funny question. You guys say, who, cre who created me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, we are going to now... Um, uh, um, uh, play another video of Baris De Jofo, where a Jofo is telling you that he don't have trust and confidence in Nigeria judiciary. A Jofo don't have confidence in Nigeria judiciary, but a Jofo is telling you to calm down. And not only that, he don't have, not only that the judiciary of Nigeria have not proven here, they have proven that you cannot trust them by, after ordering the release of Onyedu, they still detain him till today. So I want you people to watch a job for. Now watch. So it today. Right, so let's get justice first. We'll take it off from there. And also international community complaints. So even if they're not doing anything, they will have to be crying. Let the world hear our voice. Let the world hear our cries. It's important. Thank you. And uh, so, you know, the, the, the question of the MBA, what, what are the MBAs, you know, so, MBA uh, doing? During this ancient bloody invasion of my house of 6th June 2019, 2021, I made a personal contact with the MBA president. Uh, but uh, he called me, consistently called me to find out what happened. And I told him, after I writing to him, to me, to him, about he, 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 he saw it. And also get him, um, intervene to the level the government, the MBA will get involved. So, but I'm, I'm shocked that um, after the incident, the T date, the MBA hasn't taken a position. And I've taken steps to also formally route. So I, I, I've taken place to write to MBA and the other relevant agencies on this, on, on, the, on the heinous crimes in my, committed by students in my home on 6th of June. So I'm still awaiting their response, but I, other people are responding, like uh, Humar and the Amnesty International are, taking, are doing something, and other people are doing something. American government is also doing something. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that MBA will take a, a position on this matter, on this uh, gore incident, anytime soon i'm hopeful that i will do something about it because i'm full full member of mba i don't think there's anything that will that, that will stop them from getting involved in my case yeah, because I, the, my my wife is also part of the duties of obligations for mba to make sure to protect thank you that's a that's a very fine place to anchor with uh daniel elomba you just submitted yourself you yes i want to my brother barista you are 
an eminent legal practitioner. So what I will say now will not be strange to you. The, obviously you are lamenting that even if you get a pronouncement, then that will leave the area of enforcement where the Nigeria authorities are obviously not unaware of what happened and what has been happening when people will be killed and there will be no consequences for such actions. We know what happened to General Pinochet when he visited United Kingdom. It gave rise to dealt with a headed action against the Nigerian government. And then when you actors, not necessarily international agencies will be at a lot whenever they are found gives a leverage for those international organizations to take action against them when they visit UK. So I, I, what I'm asking is, is this something that you, you may contemplate doing or whether you, are, you and the organization you represent, is this something that within their, within their sight that they can do? Okay, thank you very much. And that's it. So, um, Barista, if you may. Among my colleagues, they'll tell you who I am. I, I'm not a. I'm a peace loving man. I'm a, I'm, I am, I'm a generous man to the court, they fought. So, tell me what I've done to demand, to deserve this kind of ill treatment. Enos crime being committed by being protected by people who ordinarily are supposed to be protected like uh, my life and lives of people of the of the citizens, that people who are coming after my life and lives uh, lives of innocent people. Evidence he said he has concerning the atrocities and lives uh, lives of innocent. Oh, the daily before before. Oh, the, um, if you can make it very snappy, then uh, we may round up. Um, can you can you hear me now? Is it? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Go ahead. Uh, make I don't it quick, have much. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mazze. Is okay. Uh, what I would like uh, Barista Jofo to do, the evidences or evidence he said he has concerning the atrocities in his uh, home, can he make them available to you? That is one. Secondly, what is the body of lawyers, the MBA, doing about the atrocities and the victimization of lawyers in the country? We keep quiet and victimized. It's effectively being challenged today in court of appeal. And the court of appeal wants to arrest anybody on the street because you are, I can confirm that to you. So now, and I've said this thing time with, so giving effect to a, a, an order of court. Thank you very Thank you. much, um, So uh, that fundamental absolute thought breach of your rights as a human person, Actions are we putting in place to see that? Please, uh, me, I'm trying to get Mr. Daniel Elon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, um, I don't know whether I'm we are hearing my voice. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, my question, uh, Barrister Jofo, is this um, what happened to you is very sad and just disturbing whatever we are doing. So, this. Question now, I don't want you to answer me here. Maybe Mazes, okay, and uh, every other person in the forum here. Uh, please, Barrister, uh, though I am not a lawyer, but common sense tells me that the police, from IG to the last person in the police force, is not saying the truth. <laughs> because if they don't know anything about this issue since days, this thing happened, why are you keeping your staff? In the cell. Thank you so one. much. This is Sorry. one. Okay. The second one, uh, uh, I wanted to restrain myself from asking this question, but since you mentioned Gumi, um, it's about I listening to the presidency uh, about their response to the um, threat from Niger Delta guys. And everything that we are saying there is. I like, um, uh, Professor. Uh, Femi Olufim Lade. Afterwards, I will take uh, Elder Daly. Uh, Professor, uh, quickly um, unmute yourself and. Um... Now, I want you people to listen to what this professor from Oduduwa Nation, uh, uh, you know, asks uh, this criminal agent of. <laughs> you know, when you see some, when you see people that are sensible, you know, listen to what this professor asks a of. Very important. Ask your question, Prof. 
Prof, can you quickly unmute yourself? Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yes, I've tried to unmute you. Go ahead. Over and over. Okay. Now, yeah, Barrister Jofo, I want to start by sympathizing mm. on this unfortunate uh, development. Yes. And I can only thank God that you are alive to tell the story. Okay. Even thank though so. I'm curious as to how they couldn't uh, reach you, you were in that house. Did you see? The man, this professor said, I am very curious to how they couldn't reach you even while you are in that house. And the professor went further to say, you must be a spiritual <laughs> because you know in Nigeria, once they come for you and you are there, you can't, they can't leave until they get you. So, you know, everybody have, that you see it in Sunday Ibuho's house. So unless that you are not there. So now, this professor, after listening to all this quarter joint story of Ejofo, listening to a sensible professor, listen, I, I am telling you, you can never be the same if you listen to what I'm doing. Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yes, I've tried to unmute you. Go ahead. Over and over. Okay. Yeah, Barrister Ejofo, I want to start by sympathizing with you okay. on this unfortunate uh, development. And I can only thank God that you are alive to tell this story. Even thank though so. I'm curious as to how they couldn't uh, reach you, you were in that house, whether you were using a day she or uh, the Holy Spirit literally transformed you into spirit. <laughs> he said, whether you are using a day she or the Holy Spirit literally transformed you into the spirit because it, it is it is not possible but today we have been able to expose a Jofo that the Jofo was the one mastermind the killings and the kidnapping of Mazin Amdikana the killing of the Eastern Security Network including killing in his house and now sensible people are asking questions you cannot be in that house and they come to kill you, and they kill only your, your so-called PA. So, and the Jofo was laughing. So, we'll go back again. Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yes, I've tried to unmute you. Go ahead. Over and over. Okay. Yeah, Barrister Jofo, I want to start by sympathizing with you on this unfortunate uh, development. And I can only thank God that you are alive to tell this story. Even though so. I'm curious as to how they couldn't uh, reach you, you were in that house, whether you were using a day she or uh, <laughs> the Holy Spirit uh -huh. literally transformed you into uh, spirit. But the and the Jofo answered is Holy Spirit. <laughs> a Jofo answered is very is Holy Spirit. Listen to it. Thank God that you. But I know that when this professor now watch this video. He will understand, you know, what has transpired. Uh, alive to tell this story, even Thank though so. I'm curious as to how they couldn't uh, reach you. You were in that house, whether you were using a day she or uh, <laughs> the Holy Spirit uh -huh. literally transformed you into spirit. Uh, but spirit. The, the comment I want to make is um, I believe in self determination, and I mean. Now, that is what I want you to know. Now, let us go to 29. 129, where a Jofo said he don't have trust in Nigeria judicial system. Yet, he wants you to calm down. And organization is this something that within their, within their site that they can do? Okay, thank you very much. And that's it. So, um, Barrister, if you may that quickly and, uh, in, you know, very short and actions. So I may not be able to discuss this strategies over, over the social media. Uh, but um, I can tell you that what we are doing here in Nigerian courts is not an exercise in fertility because it formed the basis for other com other our, our, our further complaints outside the confines or jurisdiction of the Nigerian courts. So uh, we have to explore the available avenue 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 and legal avenue available to us at this stage and from there afterwards. Confidence in the system, and knowing fully well that the system is so porous. Did you hear that? Even though, even when we don't have confidence in the system, knowing that the system is so porous, yet 
Ejofo is telling you everybody to calm down. When you when Ejofo know you can never get justice. When Ejofo know that he doesn't even trust the Nigeria judicial system. I am telling you. So listen. The system is so skewed towards them. Um was uh, being manipulated so but um i still have uh, some element of confidence some judicial judicial officers thank you so much so uh, we have to explore the avenue 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 and legal avenue available to us at this stage and take it further from there afterwards uh, even when we don't have confidence in the system knowing fully well that the system is so porous the system is so skewed towards them um, towards uh, being manipulated so but um i still have uh, element of confidence some judicial you just show up first thank you so much you say you still have some element of confidence in some judicial officers so if your father don't have confidence in nigeria judiciary yet he wants you to calm down now we are going to ladies and gentlemen we are going to bring umada to umada umada they are here and uh umada they are here so uh we are bringing umada we are bringing Omada uh, to come and do their magic as usual. And uh, here we go. Omada. Omada, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Hello, Umada. Mekuna, sorry, because uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I am You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. There one. So I'm going to bring you people to the screen. And uh, so once I bring you to the screen, uh, Madam Azoka, you take over from there, and I will be, uh, I will disappear somewhere. Okay, don't disappear too much. <laughs> And not to the other room. I'm still here. You, you saw the text I sent you. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so okay. yes, yes. Okay. All right. So um, I am bringing one moment, Bia France. Uh, one moment. One moment. There we go. Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, dear friends, I have to present to you the Omar Daniel Kwefi Walaba, the main Omar Da, the Omar Da na pia wazo, the Omar Da na pia mbara mura munishi onyo buna melo pim, the Omar Da nebu ha welo mada doya vam vam vam, especially oye no chiaozo dear friend, the Omar Da that have been working very tirelessly, very, very hard to make sure that Mazina Mikano is out, that Biafra is restored in 2023. They are here to die with your four criminal, bam, 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 and probably have another message to give. So I want to bring Umada that have done very, very well and uh, I'm very, very proud of them. I'm very proud of this Omar Adam and Amazoka and Co. Uh, you're welcome. I introduce you to Biafrans today. And uh, as you can see, my video is not showing on that uh, on that zoo. I don't know why, but uh, I will be here to observe how you people are going to do this. Bam, bam, bam. You're welcome to the program, Omar Adam. <laughs> Dear Biafrans, I present to you the Omar Adam of Biafra, and uh, they are here. <coughs> Thank you, thank you. Can you hear me? Hear you loud and clear. Okay, thank you, Mazi Simon. You know, uh, sometimes uh, when I look at you, I said, um, God, uh, we thank you for giving us a strong bone like you. Uh, we thank God for providing you at this moment uh, because without you, uh, Biafra would have been uh, a history. And uh, Mazin and the Kanu could have been, you know, equally uh, and then will, uh, will languish in jail for the whole of his life. But uh, because of your activities, 
and the, all the things you've been doing. Uh, we still have hope that uh, Mazi will be released as soon <laughs> as possible. And of course, uh, the Biafran restoration uh, is working very, very okay. Of course, we know that uh, 2023 is the D-Day. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. Of course, uh, the, all the Umada, the Umada Natu Kwefi, the Umada of Biafra, Umada Njemonu, Ndiakwachi Akwogo, you know? I love you guys because uh, you guys have been doing the bidding of the Biafra people. And uh, without minding, you know, side attractions uh, here and there and distractions, um, you still remain focused in what you're doing. And we've been working very, very hard to make sure that everything is in place because we are the Umar Dada Martin and the Kanu prophesied of. And we cannot be deterred by anything, by any wind or by any fly that is flying out there or by any distraction. We do not care, you know, because we know that Umada are here and we are doing the bidding of the Biafra people. Until Biafra is restored, uh, we cannot give up no matter what. So thank you so much. And I want to welcome every uh, Biafran people from all over the world. And today, uh, you can see that we are wearing black, black and black, <clears throat> signifying something that is very, very not comfortable. Uh, we're here for two programs. One uh, is to tell you that next Saturday is another fundraising, the mega fundraising. Uh, for Biafra restoration, and uh, we want to call every member of Biafra land or every member, every every Biafra uh, people uh, from all over the world, knowing what is going on now, uh, you are not uh, um, you are not a stranger uh, seeing the calamity that is going on in our land. Of course, the uh, infiltration of the Fulani government, uh, the Fulani terrorists uh, in our land. Uh, you know what happened in Enugu? Uh, though uh, there are things that happened that uh, we cannot control, but I, I really thank God for the Eastern security uh, who have been doing their marvelous job and uh, who have never given up, who have given everything, given their lives, given their families, given everything they have, given their wealth and their houses. Of course, the pain ultimate price to make sure that Biafra is restored. And I must thank you. I am so deeply proud of them because they are wonderful. They are awesome. They are the law, the laws given, uh, the, the laws given. And of course, God gave, gave us uh, these uh, men and gentle women, gentlemen and women who are representing us in the land. They have paid ultimate price, they have given everything they have, and as such, it's time to support them to do more. And let me tell you, it is paramount that you know that these guys have been there without nothing, but we tried as much as possible since we came in, the Umada and Simon Ekpa have been trying everything to make sure that everything they want, not really everything, because the much we have is much we are giving. And we need more, we need more, because if we have what we want or what we need, I tell you, in the next two months, Biafra will be here because of these men on ground. These men are powerful. These men are resilient. These men are courageous. These men are ready to die for our nation. As such, we are gonna support them. We have to support them. Unless you do not want to do that, if you do not do that, let me tell you, you are gonna pay with your wife. Fulani's, You're going to pay with your children. Fulani's You're going to pay with everything you have. You're going to pay with everything that makes you think. So it is time for us to do our best to make sure that we support Eastern Security Network because they need our help. We need to equip them. We need to give them everything they need so that they can go to work and defend our nation from this gender terrorist government. Secondly, we are here again because having seen the exposition of what is going on, you know the Umadas have been working on the ground since we started and we have never given up. We have never relented in making sure that every information that is given to us 
is highly scrutinized to make sure that when it gets to the public, you cannot but believe what we are telling you. And we told you, we're going to be honest with you. We're going to tell you how it is. And we're going to tell you everything that is going on inside that you'll be aware. Because the Umada of Biafra are very, very unique and honest in whatever they are doing. And we want to let you know that whatever we tell you is truth and nothing but the truth. As such, we are presenting to you guys all the findings that we've gotten so far about uh, Barista Age of Four. Barista Age of Four is a criminal. We want to let you guys know that Mas Barista Age of Four masterminded the decision of Oponyanju. And Barista Age of Four has killed our Eastern security commanders, both in his house and the ones that he piloted to happen outside his home. Age of Four, we want to call on you to step aside. We do not want you to be visiting Mazin Nandekanu henceforth. We don't want you to be going there to see him. We have a document there. We have a, um, a, a Jimako there who, have, who, who are going to be piloting the affairs of Onyendu henceforth because we do not want you. The gender we have been using you for a long time, we are tired of Ejofo and all his criminal activities and all he's been doing. Therefore, we, the Umada of Biafra, unanimously agreeing and saying, Ejofo, enough is enough. Pack your things and go, because the God of the Biafra land are looking and watching you 24 hours right now. So stay away from Onyendu because you are not worthy. You are not equal to the task to take the affairs of Onyendu. And we have equally sent a message to Mazin Nandekanu's family to take it upon themselves to stop a job from henceforth from taking charge, to from taking charge of Onyendu's case because Edge of Four is a criminal. Edge of Four has been killing our Eastern Security Commanders. And we want to point out that you can know, you know you from the interview that um, Edge of Four conducted, and from every exposition that Mazin and Mazin ever has done there, all are true. Now, nothing but the truth. Edge of Four, we want Edge of Four to tell us what happened to Gentoo. Gentoo is is an Eastern security commander that was killed and burnt in a Jofor's house. He was killed in a Jofor's house, was taken out and bought in a Jofor's in Jofor's car because he had a secret that a Jofor committed that he a Jofor never wanted the Biafran people to know. That was why a Jofor masterminded with the um, Jadawid government and came to his house took the guy, and then kill him, killed him. Now, we want to ask Ejo for again, how about Mbochi? Mbochi came to your house in a meet, for a meeting, and after that meeting, he was going home. You routed him to go the other way and left this normal road that he was supposed to, the normal, normal route he was taking, uh, so was supposed to, to, to be taken, and then you directed, no, was, you directed him the other way around. Madam Azoka, a little correction. Uh, no, he, yeah. uh, Mbochi, Ejofo, was part of the meeting that Mbochi went to in Onwa's house. So the meeting yes. actually took place in Onwa. In Onwa's in this, house, in this, uh, yes. in this uh, what is the name, Madubugo's house. Mm -hmm. And it was yes. after the meeting, that Madubugo asked him to follow a, a, a road because that day was the sit at home, Monday sit at home. And yes. they asked him to follow one road and they, they followed that road and they, they, they ambushed them and killed him. Yes. So and, and Mochi was killed. Now we are calling on elders of the A, uh, Biafran nation, to on Age of Four to come. Because we want Age of Four to swear an oath. We know our tradition and we know how it happens. And we want Age of Four to come and then swear an oath or to deny all these accusations because he has not done that. We want him to tell us what happened to Gentle. He pretended that Gentle is his, uh, his uh, PA 
So why would a Jofo lie to us? Why is the Jofo lying to the Biafran people? We want a Jofo to come around and then deny all these accusations. We want a Jofo to tell us what happened to Umbochi. Without doing that, without doing this, the woman that will call on um, Barrister Ejofo to come and do whatever we ask him to do because Ejofo has killed our our Eastern Commander, Eastern, Eastern Security Commanders. And Ejofo is not worthy to take part in piloting the affairs of Onyendu. So we are sending this message to all the elders of Biafra to try as much as possible to scrutinize it and then find out what really went wrong? What really happened? Because without a job for denying all these accusations, then the Umada of Biafra land, all the states of your Biafra will call on a job for to do what we want him to do. At the end of the day, and the I'm truth must be there. So that is the message we want to send to Barista Jofo that you are not worthy from everything that you found out. You are not worthy to take care of Onyendu's case. So step aside. Let um, Ezekome and uh, Ejimako take charge henceforth. That is the message we have for you. That is the message of Umada Biafra. But with that being said, I am going to bring other Umadas um, to talk to you guys about what is going on. So I'm calling on Chichi, um, my hobby. Uh, to come and then uh, tell the